Hello everyone, welcome to the Redouble Nation of DNA back with another video and today guys, it's a great day guys, you know uh, in our history, you know, finally, finally, you know, the movement that started guys, the Kubala movement today guys, you know, it finally got the uh, fulfillment because, you know the dictatorial regime guys, that has been going on for so long, you know, in Bangladesh uh, finally came to an end guys, you know, and today guys, today today, we truly and truly, you know, feel free uh, you know, the no, some you know, yeah, people are calling it our second Independence Day, you know, today because you know, uh, finally, you know, our uh, ex uh, Prime Minister Hasina, she uh, uh, finally, you know, f uh, fled the country, and um, yeah, and today, guys, you know, we finally, finally, you know, uh, got our uh, the victory, guys, you know, that we for so long, guys, that we have been, you know, dreaming for, you know, uh, so much, you know, bloodshed, guys, so much, you know, like protesting, you know, day, night, all day, all night long, people have been. You know, just um, you know, staying on the road, guys. You know, continuous protest and you no, know, like nothing. You know, no eating, no you know, proper sleep, nothing. You know, it's been a chaotic situation, guys. What's been going on, really, in Bangladesh? But you know, truly, guys. You know, now we uh, we are relieved, guys. You know, uh, everyone, you know, around the country, they are celebrating right now. Uh, but the question is here, guys. Okay, uh, now, guys, are we are we still, guys, truly free? And of course, guys. You know, we you know we got finally the fulfillment, guys. After you know all making all the uh, sacrifices guys you know so many lives you know uh, you know laid down and um, so many suffering you know so many people got injured you know like uh, and finally you know we uh, you know got uh, today you know the result if uh, like the result that we have been expecting guys it happened but still guys you know still guys, there are still you know a lot of challenges you know that we still have to face guys so you know I know guys you know people are celebrating you know they deserve guys, you know they totally deserve to celebrate guys you know after again you know doing like uh, so much again uh, protesting for so long uh, like so much, you know, again, like going through so much pain and, you know, like uh, so much, you know, like uh, shitty stuff. Uh, finally, of course, you know, they deserve to celebrate. But still, guys, we, we have to understand, guys, and we have to realize that it's uh, still not over, guys. You know, there are still, you know, many challenges that we have to face. And um, yeah, um, the, first of all, guys, you know, I think, uh, first of all, that we, something that we have to do really is like, uh, of course, you know, the students, of course, you know, they have played a huge part. They, of course, they played the main role, of course, and then, of course, the other uh, citizens, you know, they also, you know, uh, got involved with the uh, movement. And, um, yeah, the first thing, you know, the students have to do is make sure, guys. Uh, of course, you know, now the biggest question is that, you know, like, uh, like if not Aumi League, like, what is the alternative? Because, you know, the other parties are, I'm going to be very honest, because the other parties are pretty much the same, because, you know, because they have been, you know, uh, consciously, you know, uh, causing chaos in the past, guys, of course, even now, even amidst all the, you know, protests and everything going on, they have been, you know, uh, involved, in my opinion, as well, so, um, I mean, what is really the alternative, guys? So, I think it's not, you know, I think it's a time, because, you know, for a, a big change, I think, you know, now it's not the time for either Aumi League or BNP or any other, you know, other, any other parties that have existed, I think it's time to, you know, some find something new, guys, you know, I'm pretty sure guys, you know, there are there are a few people, you know, like uh like who are actually qualified guys, educated and they have like you know that uh, sort of um um what, what can I say like that ability guys you know to lead a country. I'm pretty sure we have those people. Um just we have to find them the, the right person guys who can actually guys you know truly uh you know like uh, be that role model guys, be the leader, not again we don't want another dictator guys, or uh, not any of the other parties guys that have been you know like just um, guiding us through like just a wrong, the wrong path guys you know uh, I hope guys you know we um, we get a uh, good uh, good leader guys I hopefully someone you can get someone who's righteous guys someone who's actually you know like fools someone who will you know follow the you know the democratic rules and um, yeah just um, yeah hopefully you know we find someone like that I'm pretty I can, I'm pretty sure there are people like that so it's very important guys that we choose the right person you know for this role and I'm also guys, you know, something that we also have to keep in mind that, you know, like, and again, amidst all this, you know, again, you know, and also there, there's been some, you know, even today, guys, there's been some chaotic, you know, uh, cases, you know, going on around the country. So there are, of, of course, the opposition party and they will, you know, even the, you know, like the, uh, the ex, uh, you know, party who has been in power, they will try to cause chaos, guys, you know, they will try to separate, you know, they will try to, you know, destroy, you know, uh, and also, you know, attack like min uh, minorities and stuff. Um, we have to make sure the minorities, you know, they are safe and um, like, you know, no one can like attack them or, you know, like they are, you know, they will try, you know, trust me, they will try to, you know, divide and conquer. So I hope, I know that doesn't happen. So of course, you know, students, they, they have to play a big role, of course, the army as well. I hope guys, you know, they actually, you know, like make everything, um, 
peaceful, you know, like everything stays peaceful, nothing of that sort happens. And of course, it's your duty, my duty to, you know, protect those minorities, you know, so some no, nothing crazy happens or, you know, Bangladesh does not get that uh, bad reputation, you know. Uh, we, of course, fight, fought for a righteous cause, you know, and uh, again, so much bloodshed, you know, so many lives given. Hopefully, it doesn't, you know, go to that extreme level, guys, where, you know, it uh, gets, again, falls apart. So we have to, you know, keep things together. Again, it, it's hard to, you know, like uh, independence, you know, like, like getting independence, guys, yeah, that's easy. But, you know, to protect the independence, guys, that is the harder part, guys. There's a saying, right, in Bangla. Uh, so I, I hope, guys, you know, people realize that. And so yeah guys, you know, we have just have to be very very aware and um, yeah, and hopefully also in people, you know, like people who have been protesting uh, Don't, you know, I, I know that there have been some, again, incidents going on around the country People are trying, like, breaking stuff, guys, you know, like, government stuff, you know, and uh, attacking Look, like, I think now it's, like, guys, there is no need anymore, guys, I think now we have resolved this, uh, you know uh, We just have to keep it peaceful, guys, uh, no need to, you know, like, some, I, I have seen some, you know, people, you know, breaking, like Statues and stuff. I, I don't think you know we have to be that violent, you know. I don't think that is needed anymore. We can keep it like very peaceful and stuff. And again, guys, hopefully we choose the right person again, you know, someone who's actually qualified, guys, educated, uh, someone uh, very righteous, not some you know like uh, religion, like religious extremist, you know, or anything of that sort, like Jamaat, you know, like uh, nothing of that sort. Again, uh, you know, this part is, guys, you know, everyone, guys, doesn't matter, like, you know, what religion or what, re like, whatever, guys, you know, whatever your profile is or your background is, everyone, guys, we came together, you know, and protested for this. So I think it's, uh, it's our, again, guys, you know, it's our uh, duty to, you know, make sure, you know, someone, again, guys, who will, you know, listen to, all, again, everyone, guys, you know, there will be no division, guys, you know, uh, we, we will all, you know, again, guys, you know, something, guys, I, I truly believe in that, you know, like, the, you know, the first, um, Thing, guys, that we in, that we should introduce us as is a uh, Bangladesh is not you know again like you know by any religion or anything guys we the first thing comes that you know that we are uh, all Bangladeshis so, yeah guys I hope you know again something uh, again someone you know like that you know someone who will you know listen to everyone and everything you know keep everything peaceful guys there's gonna be no you know like again attacking minorities you know or uh, religion or you know that that kind of discrimination guys you know or uh, extremism or anything of that sort um, so yeah. And also, we should never forget the contribution of, you know, of Abu Said and all the, you know, people who have uh, laid down their lives, guys, you know, for this to actually, you know, make it a reality. I never forget them, guys, you know. Um, such, you know, brave, you know, you have to be so brave, again, to, you know, just stand in front of the, you know, just firearms, you know, the, like those guns and, you know, lay down your life uh, for such a great cause, guys, you know. It's just, uh, I hope, guys, you know, they get the recognition and, you know, they are announced as national heroes. Of course, we, we want that to happen. Yeah, guys, you know, of course, you know, I, I hope that, you know, that that's also, you know, something that we, uh, I mean, the whole country, you know, of course, agrees upon. And they will agree, guys, upon, guys. We have to, you know, uh, at least pay some sort of tribute to them, right? So, yeah. And yeah, guys, I have been with the students, you know, from the uh, get-go, you know. After the first video, guys, you know, uh, right before the, you know, day, you know, the internet shutdown happened. Um, but yeah, I have been, you know, fully supporting the students. Uh, and of course, I, I will, you know, keep on supporting the students. And um, yeah. Uh, and again guys, you know, hopefully everything just, you know, uh, gets resolved peacefully guys. We want, we just want peace guys, you know, a peaceful democratic country is all we wish for guys and uh, all we want and hopefully guys, I hope, you know, uh, all of our, you know, students, of course, the citizens, you know, just, you know, come together and um, uh, make it a possibility guys. You know, it's our effort guys, our country and um, yeah, it's our, you know, duty to, you know, uh, make that happen. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna honestly add anything more and it's, it's been a, you know, uh, Quite a uh, rough month, guys, for us. But again, guys, at the end, guys, we got the you know the sweet, sweet victory, guys. And um, yeah, it, it is time to celebrate. But again, guys, keep those things in mind. And um, yeah, today I, I am feeling very, 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 uh, very proud, guys. Very uh, relaxed, of course. You know, finally we made it happen, guys. So yeah, I think we'll keep it right there. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys on the next one. And until then, bye, bye, Tata. Love you all, and take care. See ya.